So I was recently uh, diagnosed with celiac disease, which uh, uh, really bummed me out. Not because I had to give up gluten, but because I, uh, I was suddenly a part of a really douchey club. <laughs> I used, to, uh, I used to judge gluten-free people, as I'm sure you do. Um, a couple years ago, uh, a woman at church decided to start baking gluten-free bread for communion. Um, and my favorite part of church had been the bread and the wine. And now, now it was gluten-free bread and organic grape juice. Totally ruined it for me. But the bread, oh, it just, it tastes blah. I mean, geez, put some raisin in it. We'll call it his liver. <laughs> and it, it, do, it, you know, it doesn't hold together. So it, it gives new meaning to, this is my body broken for you. But uh, I thought I'd lose weight with the celiac disease, but uh, I, I didn't. I just uh, replaced gluten with, with chocolate. So um, uh, if I go to a dinner party, you know, it could be a nightmare if the, if the host wants to change the entire menu for me. So I say, no, I have a system. I bring a Reese's peanut butter cup, I crumble it into the soup, use M&Ms for croutons, and I've got the first two courses covered. But no, I have to take my celiac, uh, celiac disease seriously. It, it is a disease. It's, it's not a lifestyle choice. Like my lesbianism. Thank you.